Tunes and the Secret Code. This is Alex Jones. The government did it. The government did it. Everyone's a government agent, and I'm not so sure about myself. Hello, this is conspiracy guy par excellence, Alex Jones. Welcome to Alex Jones and the Secret Code. Very cool. Alex Jones and the Secret Code. In this show, I dated November 1st, 2012. I bet that sounds kind of quaint and funny to you of the distant future, huh? Well, to us, it's the day after a really scary Halloween. I mean, it was this scary. <laughs> something for the kids. Say, something to get the kids out of there. Just scaring the kids away. <laughs> <laughs> it is the gist of this show that I believe that I, Perry Logan, have detected a bit of conspiratorial thinking. Conspiracy theory type thinking. Which, for the record, I regard as a defective, malformed, malodorous, mucoid, snotty, Trappy, potty, and uh, moment, Tredian moment. Tredian moment. Tourettean moment. There's one in every show. Nevertheless, <laughs> the gist of the show is that I, I believe Democrats right now are Democrats, lefties, liberals, progressives. My uh, tribe, I don't know, maybe they're going to throw me out. Or maybe I was never in, you know. But the lefty tribe, of which I really am incontestably a member, well, many of them, and I, I regard lefties as smart. Could I just take a moment to say, I, I do regard lefties as relatively smart. <laughs> However, <laughs> there's a fly in the ointment. There's a glitch. In the machinery, there's a wrench in the works, you see. Because uh, many of them, and oh, I think most of them that I encounter, are uh, they're exhibiting a kind of th a thinking. I, I would call it just wrong, you know, fallacious. Fallacious, eh? check it out. Perry Logan accuses fellow lefties of <laughs> fallacious thinking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, well, it is not all that funny that the left are kind of like thinking funny. They have got, uh, they are exhibiting a type of, a type of thinking, which I consider to be kind of a, one of the signs of a conspiracy nut. Conspiracy nut? Who are you calling a conspiracy nut? Oh, not to put too, that was Alex. That was my satiric version of Alex Jones whose name is in the title. Uh, because Alex is, uh, he is a conspiracy guy, I, I just think, I think I can prove that. Yay! Alex Jones is a conspiracy guy. He's a 9-11 truther, among other things. Alex, okay? And his name is in the title because I used to observe Alex very carefully. 
long ago. Long ago, back in the mists of time. Yay! It's true. I, Perry Logan, was kind of, dare I say, interested in the conspiracy guys. America, it's time to play. You decide. Dear Perry Logan, say he was once fascinated by the conspiracy guys. Yes, 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 yes. I take it, I'm back on. Well, uh, I was interested. In fact, my uh, show, this wonderful show, started with a fascination with Alex and other conspiracy guys who were here on wonderful Channel Austin. Once known as ACTV, once known as Pact. Uh, well, Channel Austin was host to some conspiracy guys, including Alex, and as I observed him like this, There was a guy, well, okay, there is a guy named Alex Jones, and he is a conspiracy guy, to be sure, and uh, he exhibits a, a type of thinking, which we're getting to that type of thinking. He exhibits a, well, I, I think it's a delusion, a delusion, a delusional form of thinking characteristic of conspiracy guys, to wit. To wit! <laughs> To wit, they think that uh, bad guys are speaking in code. Conspiracy people think that the bad guys uh, communicate publicly through a secret code that only the conspiracy guy can understand. <laughs> can you say? <laughs> What do you say? It's a secret code, I say. It's a secret code that only I, Alex Jones, can hear. That's how I can predict the future. Yes, that's another thing conspiracy people think, is that they can predict the future. And you see, they think they can predict the future because they can read the secret code that the bad guys are speaking in. I'm not kidding. <laughs> Very often, conspiracy folks will tell you that there are clues out there. There are clues on the news. There are clues on the news. <laughs> you clever enough to see them. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's true. I mean, they, they think there are clues. In other words, they really do believe that... Uh, Malefactors, malefactors, the New World Order, the Illuminati, and now, racists. Speaking secret code. If you were trying to take over the world, would you risk giving the game away by communicating in a really obvious secret code? Oh, there's also the added complication that every conspiracy guy, or gal, uh, has like a, their own version of what the code is. <laughs> Never mind. Okay, well the point of this whole show, the point of this whole show, damn it! Daddy! Daddy, focus! Come on, Daddy. What is the premise of this show? Hey, maybe I don't want you to know. The premise of this show. Do right wingers, tea partiers, and Republicans speak in a secret code? Duh! Well, hey, I grew up in the US. I, Perry Logan, totally grew up in the US. Michigan? I grew up in Michigan, where it's a wonderful place full of beautiful people, very cold weather. I really uh, am familiar enough with racists, thank you very much. You know, I've seen the real thing too, and hey, come on, guys, wake up 
and smell the coffee, don't be a conspiratorial fool. If I know one thing, it's that racists are direct. Could you please take notes? And you know, I, I, I've killed audiences before. I've killed audiences for less. Uh, and some have killed themselves. But racists are, you know, we could, we could condemn racists. You know, racism is a real problem in the U.S. It's, a, it's no joke at all. There's systemic racism, heinous systemic racism, and real racists, okay? But they don't talk in a coded language, guys. If anyone can show me any proof that racists communicate in a secret code, send it to me. Conspiracy folks like Alex Jones uh, think they can read a secret language. This is the simple truth. And Alex is not alone. I'm not picking on Alex, really. I'm kind of giving him credit. Uh, the world is kind of caught up with Alex in a lot of ways, okay? Now, but I noticed that Alex thought he saw secret codes, you know, secret communications occurring publicly. I've heard Alex Jones, the real Alex Jones, on several occasions talking about how he predicted 9-11. Would you like to hear how Alex Jones says he predicted 9-11? <coughs> I sure would, Perry. How did I do that? Alex really said that he got it. He, he predicted 9-11 oh, by watching the Chris Matthews show. You can predict the future by watching the Chris Matthews show. If you can read the secret signs, you see what I'm getting at? Alex really said he was watching the Chris Matthews. Chris Matthews is an MSNBC guy. He's like a, I think of Chris as a corporate Democrat and a very silly man. Chris Matthews once said Obama made his leg tingle. Yeah, okay, so, so I think he's silly. But he had some, some people on his show, and they were just talking about something. It was before 9-11, and Alex figured out what was going on and apparently worked out everything, you know. That's what he said. Now, do you see what's kind of interesting? How many people watch the Chris Matthews show? Millions and millions of people. Okay, thousands and thousands of people. Blah, 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 watched that show that Alex Jones watched. But in all the world, only Alex Jones figured out the secret code the people on the show were talking in. Am I being sent into that book? No, not the book! Okay, that was how I noticed. By observing Alex Jones' version of things, I noticed that he thought he could read secret, that the bad guys talked in a secret code that only Alex could read, apparently, okay? Now, let's look at the Democrats. <laughs> let's look at the Democrats. It looks to me like most of them believe Republicans talk in a secret code. Excuse me, racists. That's what's been going on for four years now is that my friends on the left, you know, and okay, this hasn't helped the friendship, but my friends on the left are genuinely, profoundly, and may I say, righteously convinced that Republicans talk in a secret code. Conservatives talk in a secret code, but wingers, you know, anything bad we can say, you know, I call them bad names too. But I don't think they talk in a secret code. And I really think that of all the people in the world who would probably not talk in a secret code, it would be racist. 
I feel that I'm as familiar with the unpleasant nature of racists as any American, okay, possibly more so, because it bothers me a lot. And then, uh, just four years ago, four years ago, for some reason, I was told by all my fellow lefties that uh, the right speaks in a secret code. It's like Alex Jones time. Yeah. My good buddies on the left, mm -hmm, in, <laughs> mostly in defense of Barack Obama, have often said the Republicans are they're all racists. And you can tell if you can read the secret code. <laughs> That's what's going on. You people wonder why I get excited. This, this is the left. The political left, my fellow progressives and liberals, come on, baby. Fellow lefties, come on, baby. Mm, mm. Come to Perry. Mm. <laughs> okay, whose leg I like to pull. That's a metaphor. Uh, but, you know, they are, they're telling me, and this is just like, they're sure. And I say, where is your proof? And they say, well, everybody knows. And I say, well, you can't just prove something by repeating it or saying everyone knows. Uh, it is this apparently a, a special secret language. That the repubs speak, the racists speak. This proves they're all racists. With nary a scrap of proof. <laughs> what do you think of that? Another fine example of a secret code is uh, our TV shows. Conspiracy folks often say that pop culture, including TV shows, are coded messages of sorts. Coded messages. Yeah. You, know, you thought it was all about entertainment and money, but uh, they have said, they said that there was a show long ago, there was a TV show called, I believe, the, um, the Lone Rangers. Yeah, you know the show? My cat knows the show and so do you. It was a spin-off from the X-Files, from, from another popular show, okay? Here's the point. There was an episode of that show, the uh, Lone Rangers, possibly the pilot. And this was before 9-11, and they uh, save a plane from flying into the towers, from into the towers. It was like an exciting show, or an effort to do it, an exciting show. But I have heard conspiracy folks say that it was a secret coded message, you see, that only the conspiracy people can understand. This is where you really should kind of walk away. Don't you think? I, I don't mean to ridicule people. What am I saying? Of course I mean to ridicule people. Yay! If you can't ridicule the 9-11 truthers, whom can you ridicule? No, Bob. Bob, are you there? Bob, are you there? <laughs> uh, I don't think I can do this, Bob. You should fire your writers. 
Have you ever considered firing your writers? <laughs> Sorry, Bob! Okay, I can do it. The bastards think that I, Barry Logan, can't do it. I, Barry Logan, the master of transformations and morphs, yes? Can't do it, but I'll show them. This is an aside. This is an aside. Bob can't hear me. <laughs> Okay, I'm doing it, Bob. Here I go. Here it goes. Perry! <gasps> Perry, it's me, Gregor Samsa. It's Gregor Samsa, the hero of Franz Kafka's Metamorphosis, visiting the show! For the umpteenth time, I say. Hey, wait a minute. What is it, Gregor? Did, Did you, you say, say I was the hero of Franz Kafka's story, The Metamorphosis? Yes. That means I'm a fictional character. Dude, you're a fictional cockroach. A fictional cockroach. No. Gregor, oh. Gregor, it's not so bad. Gregor, it ain't so bad. We're all fictional characters. Don't you know? We're just fictional characters in a wild work of satiric fantasy called Alex Jones. And secret go to draw. Hey, good news. Now we can safely laugh at the Dems. Hi, welcome to another episode of Laugh with the Dems. <laughs> Love the way he says, Perry! The good news, the sort of premise underlying this exciting show, yay, is that you can now laugh at the Dems. You can now safely, you know, laugh at the Dems. I mean, we've been laughing at Republicans forever. We've been, well, at least since, at least since they said that Reaganomics was supposed to pay off the deficit. Republicans said Reaganomics was going to pay off the deficit. That's like a little joke. Like a little political one-liner for you, okay? We can safely laugh at the Dems and the liberals and progs and, you know, that whole motley crew. We can laugh at that whole motley crew. My brethren, you know, but, but there I was watching them, and I realized, you know, all that racism is in their head. In the same way that Alex Jones' secret messages were all in his head. Or that the secret coded messages from the New World Order that were stashed into a TV pilot. A spinoff. <laughs> you know, I would have thought they would have put it on the X-Files if they wanted to leave clues. <laughs> but... <laughs> Yeah, the left see racism everywhere. They have spent the last four years, as I like to point out, calling everyone in the country racists. Whoa. Could this backfire? Does anyone feel that, that calling everyone racists on the basis of the secret code might backfire? Backfire, baby! I let me hear you say backfire! Achtung! This is Adolf Hitler! Stop laughing! Stop laughing! Uh, this is Adolf Hitler from the flaming pits of hell. And I was very much a racist. I was possibly the biggest racist of all time. And I assure you, I did not talk in secret code. Now, excuse me, I have to go back to being tortured in hell. Same deal with welfare. According to my esteemed fellow lefties, uh, whenever uh, conservatives be careful what I say. Whenever bad guys talk uh, about welfare, it's a code for racism. Now, if you hang out in lefty circles, maybe not even lefty circles, you'll hear this. I've heard it a zillion, zillion times, and still not a scrap of proof. Oh my God. Did that kill you? It either killed my audience or knocked them senseless. But I'm not sticking around to find out.
Did you know that righties speak in a secret code? Did you know that racists heretofore regarded as the most direct people in the world speak in a secret code? Well, my fellow lefties understand that code, you see. The Republicans tried to fool them, but the libs were too smart for them. Good work. No, no sarcasm intended. But you're aware this is a kind of a conspiratorial thing? It resembles nothing so much as the ravings of Alex Jones, a good buddy. My esteemed colleague Alex Jones, who constantly, he, he foresaw 9-11 because he watched the Chris Matthews show. He really said that and, and interpreted the show. You see, Alex knew the secret language. Alex is a conspiracy guy. <laughs> Now look, the Democrats say much the same kind of thing, you see. That people who are not likely to communicate publicly in a secret code are in fact communicating publicly in a secret code. What do you think of that? Secret code.